royally. Hey, y'all. Hey, I did a little a little surprise pop up. <laughs> I hope y'all can see me OK. The setup is a little bit different. Um, Hey, Shirley Hunt. Hey, Miss Shirley Hunt. How are you? <laughs> I don't know why I feel like my glasses are a little bit crooked. I might, I was trying to be coordinated, girl. I might have to put my other, my other glasses on. Hold on. Oh, not 29 of you fabulous bombshells in the chat. All right, guys. So, hey, I am going to be kind of reading off of my phone um, because I think I'll just be able to see things a little bit better that way. But this might be okay, actually. So, all right. So, we have LaShonda. We have Kay. Nicole. Yeah. We have Jamie. GT. Of course, the fabulous Miss Shirley Hunt, um, Demetria Nicole. See, yeah, this I'm I'm, I'm gonna need my glasses. Oh, thank you. You look oh, thank you so much, girl. I appreciate it. Hey, life with Sheridan. Yeah, girls, I'm gonna um, yeah, let me actually access the live from my phone just a second. Let me make sure it's, hold on. Let me check and make sure that it's charged. All right, so we're good. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Y'all, this thing is making me mad. I hate this. I thought I put a cute thumbnail up there. I'm gonna change, I'll change the thumbnail after the live is over. All right, here we go. So now I can read. Uh, so guys, I'll be looking down a little bit so I can uh, read on my phone. So we have LaShonda K, Jamie, JT, of course, the fabulous Miss Shirley Hunt, Demetria, Nicole, girls, girls who want to DJ. Oh, that's a cute name. Uh, Simply Tanya, Jamie, Life of Sheridan, Demetria, Nicole, just Siobhan. Oh, uh, thank you. All right, guys. Oh, uh, thank you, Tanya. All right, guys. So um, I have been promising this fabulous wig sale now. I don't know if you, any of you girls are interested in the wig sale or whatever. I know a lot of you guys are here just to support, but the wig sale or the wig website is finally done. I've literally been working on it forever. Um, and so I'm really just doing this live for the girls who uh, you know, may want to come in and access or get more information about the wigs or whatever. So, um, I guess the re I guess the rest of the bombshells are laid up with Big Rufus, baby. I it is Valentine's Day. I completely forgot about that. So a lot of the girls is laid up with Big Rufus, honey. So anyway, girls, um, I'm gonna actually uh, drop the link to the wig website if you guys. If any of you guys are interested, I'll do that um, after the live. And then um, I am going to, um, I need to tweak it a little bit more. I need to tweak the website just a little bit more. But for right now, hey, D Walker. But just for right now, everything looks good. I only need to, um, I want to be able to create a hyperlink. So any of you bombshells that are interested in the WIG website, you guys will then be able to, uh, link, uh, click the link, and then you'll be able to come to my wig playlist. So you'll be able to look at the corresponding uh, picture on my website 
then you'll be able to find that corresponding picture so you can see how the unit was styled. That way you can have some style inspiration, especially if this is your first unit, guys. All sales are final. Y'all, we just have to do the protocol as people will be coming in and watching this live and stuff after it plays. And so I just want to make sure that I'm putting everything out there. We're only going to be shipping within the United States. Um, so, yeah, baby, I got over here and got straight to business, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweet Caroline, Crystal, Chantel. Oh my gosh, a lot of you guys popped in. Um, D Walker, uh, Rochelle, did you pay out of pocket for your teeth or were they insured? No, I paid out of pocket. I went to Cali, Columbia. Um, I used Dr. Gonzaga. And uh, yeah, I believe at the time I might have paid about $4,500. They are 85, 80% porcelain, 20% composite. But um, at some point I'll be going back and I will be getting all porcelain um, as I am not going to be having a baby. So uh, because I won't be having a baby and stuff like that, I was just honestly, guys, I was just trying to wait it out. Uh, you know, when you get pregnant, your teeth shift and stuff like that. And so I was waiting it out to see if I was going to have a baby. And because I'm not, um, I'm just going to go get all porcelain. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, it, it's definitely going to be permanent. So uh, right now on my teeth, these are my real teeth. They're just slightly filed down with a composite, a, a porcelain composite on top of them. But if I wanted to go get all of this stripped and just still have my real teeth, I could. So, yeah, but thank you very much. But, yeah, I will be providing the information I was thinking about. Uh, would you guys be interested in coming uh, with me to Cali, Columbia to get some dental maintenance? Because that's something that I'll be doing. Um, I'll be doing that at some point. Oh, thank you. Oh, happy. Uh, Nelson said happy bombshell. Uh, I mean, happy, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about happy bombshell day. I'm sorry. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Nelson. Have a baby. It will be. No, I'm not going to have a baby, girl. I had held a baby yesterday, y'all. She was so fat and cute, but girl, she was heavy. That baby was too heavy. I was like, mm -mm, I ain't going to be able to do it. <laughs> All right. Um, how are you doing today? I'm okay. I don't know. My energy is a little bit low. Um, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like it's Valentine's Day. I didn't even think about that. And here I am on sitting up on this live. You know what I'm saying? I could be laid up with Big Rufus, but Big Rufus is non-existent. But for the most part, I'm doing pretty good. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, then, guys, I will vlog it. Um Guys, I also get my um, I also get my maintenance, my dental maintenance done in Cancun, Mexico. So more than likely, I'm going to be taking you guys uh, with me to do a little bit of maintenance in Cancun. So we have some fun stuff coming up. I thought you wasn't going to have one either um, PCOS and all. But I'm about, I thought I wasn't going to have one, and I, but I'm a, I'm 12 weeks today. So, oh, my God, congratulations. No, I probably, I'm pretty certain I won't be having a baby. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain about that. So uh, it's not going to be a baby bombshell. Unfortunately, guys, we, we, we going to wrap it up. Um, so. Um, you're welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Justin. Uh, I don't have a big Rufus girl, but listen, guys, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, I'm okay with not having a big Rufus because the other night I was I stayed up working pretty late, and I was when I was getting ready to go to sleep, I had heard like uh y'all y'all know that yin yang twin song, and it's like it go like mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. I thought that I heard that song, right? Because I was like, who's playing Who's playing uh, the whisper song at two o'clock in the morning? So girl, I had got real, real quiet, y'all. It was not anybody playing the whisper song, y'all. It was my neighbor snoring. Y'all, it was literally my neighbor snoring. It was loud and ridiculous. Yes, his his snoring sounded like, and then I'm going I'm to be honest, it was at that moment where I was like, you know what? I'm happy. I don't have no big Rufus, baby. Because, I mean, that fool was snoring, y'all. He was snoring to the beat, girl. So I was like, what is... <laughs> I was like, what is going on, y'all? I literally turned 
the vlog, the camera on, and you uh, you guys are going to see that in the next vlog. It was dark as hell in that room. I said, I know damn well this fool is not listening to the whisper song, but he wasn't. He was snoring. It was terrible. Uh, let me see my, yeah, where do you see my, yeah, that. Yeah, it did take a wild turn, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, guys, I'm so used to having, so I like my house to be cool. I like it to be quiet. I like, you know what I'm saying? I'm very particular on the way that I sleep because I'm a very light sleeper. And so I can't, any little thing will wake me up. A, even if it's just a little bit of light, anything can wake me up. So I don't want, I can't have big roof, it's snowing. And I haven't met, I don't care how fine the dude is. I don't care how nice his body is, how much he work out. I have not met nobody who don't snore. Everybody I met snores and I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't do it. Well, I'll just say the, the people that I dated that we had a chance to, you know, roll in the hay. <laughs> They've all snored and I ain't going to be able to do it. Um, So one thing is always some activity. It is all girl, in these apartments, girl, yeah. Valencia D, in these apartments, it is always some activity, girl. Yeah, I can't do it. Like, I don't want to be sleeping with no lawnmower or no vacuum cleaner. I can't do it because that's what it, it be sounding like. What? The man next door be playing Top Gun? I can't. And then, girl, they be getting loud. They be loud upstairs, girl. I know the other night. Uh, I, I don't know if the girl that be up there is his boo or whatever, girl, but she was singing Fantasia. And she was singing really, really loud. But anyway, so um, you guys let me know. Are, are there any bombshells in the chat that are interested in, wor in any work from home opportunities? If you guys are interested, I found this really cute girl, y'all. She is so cutie. I found this really cute girl on TikTok and her name is Work From Home Bay. In fact, I did link her information um, she does give you so many um, details and she's so thorough. I love her. She reminds me of myself, honey. Sis is friendly. She is likable. She is thorough. She has a really nice personality and she does her research. So one thing that I learned from her is that guys, companies are taking a turn. Companies are, um, from what I've seen, just going down the TikTok rabbit hole, companies, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, they're getting away. A lot of companies are getting away from um, the whole formal interview process. And a lot of companies are going with the uh, thing of you submitting your resume. From there, they're sending you an assessment. Once you pass the assessment, you're getting hired. So they're skipping a lot of the ebbs and flows and stuff like that. And then there's also a lot of companies that are laying off. I know that I just heard, I think PayPal is laying off. I want to say like 250 people, if not more. Amazon is laying off. Google is laying off. And so there is basically like a, um, almost like a, companies are going through like a rebellion, a rebellious period because people don't want to come back to work. And, uh, so for those of you who currently work from home, you may see some pressure from your company making you want to come back to work, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, I did drop the information. I did drop the link. Um, it should be. I thought it was in the description. But. I don't know really how to work this thing, guys. Y'all know I don't be on here like that. I'm tech savvy, but you know, I still I still have some work to do. But what I'm gonna do again, guys, she's on TikTok and she is WFH Bay. So if you go to TikTok and type in WFH Bay, uh Babe, I'm sorry, Babe, B-A-B-E. Um, you will then get to see all of the opportunities, guys. A lot of these opportunities are not on the phone. So it's not, it is some customer service positions, but guys, remember not all customer service positions are created equal. You don't, you're not necessarily going to be sitting up on the phone. Some of these positions are overnight. It does sound like some of these positions are also operations. Uh, I know that some of them pay anywhere from 17 to $26 an hour. For my girlies that make like $30, maybe $35 an hour, 
um, and your company is considering having you come back to work, you, you might want to consider some of these opportunities, considering the fact that um, when you go back to work on average, guys, it's costing people, uh, people that are returning back to work on average, it's costing them about $541 a month to uh, have groceries because obviously you're going to need lunch and stuff like that. You're going to be paying more money in um gas, you're going to be paying more money in dry cleaning and all of those expenses. And so even if you have to take, I don't know, a $4 pay cut and go from $30 an hour to 26, it's worth it because in the, in the long run, you, you, you will be saving more money by not having to deal with that commute every day. Let me read the comment section. Um, let's see here. Yes, yeah, she's really thorough. Uh, yes, yeah, she is thorough, like paying 30, 35 to 40 and not being on the phone. Yes. Thank you. Um, she said, happy Valentine's Day, sunshine. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, pin it. Let me see if I can pin. Okay. Just a second, girls. Uh, okay. Let me see. W H. I'm sorry. W F H B A B E. So I'll just, uh, let's see. How do you Girl, y'all, I have not, I'm so rusty. I need, this probably is just a key indicator that I need to be coming on down to the bombshell network a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think, I think you can do it like that. Oh, there it is. Okay. I figured it out. Yes, girls. And so, yeah, guys. So I've just been trying to uh, remain consistent um, with getting the content out and stuff like that or whatever. Um, and, you know just continuously show up. Last month, I did discuss with you guys, I did, I took a little bit of a break last month. And then this month, I kind of got my mojo back. And, uh, you know, I just told myself, like, I have to keep going no matter what. Now, um, we may not, there may not be another vlog this week. That's another reason why I'm going uh, live because we have a sponsorship, guys. You guys are going to be so surprised, but we have a really great sponsorship. Uh, but that video uh, does have to be approved before it goes live. So I got to edit it, submit it for approval. And then, so we'll be back on track with the blogging next week, unless I do a quick little fun little spend the day with me and I just drop that thing on Friday so you guys can have something to watch or whatever. So anyway, that's enough about me. I think we're all caught up. Do you guys have any questions? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was, it, it just kind of fell in my lap. And also it was just one of those things, this sponsorship, it was much needed. I can honestly say that, like, I know we get a lot of clothes over here. We get a lot of hair, but this sponsorship was, it was definitely it was God and it was God's timing and it was needed and it is much appreciated. What is your wig website? Well, that's the thing, guys. That's another thing. Thank you so much. Gen Genovia. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. I know Genovia and I in here. Uh-uh. I fuck you dagger, y'all. Genovia, y'all, that's my little sister or whatever. <laughs> I'm finna pin... I'm finna, y'all, y'all look at my, you look at my little sister. Y'all didn't know that I had a little sister on, um, oh, uh-uh, wait a minute, girl, this thing trying to, it's trying to, oh, there we go. Girl was trying to make me time her out or whatever. Yeah, guys, so I have, let me make sure I pinned it. Did I pin it? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm going to pin, yes, replace pin message. Okay, guys. So Genovia Riel is actually like a little sister to me. Um, I actually found her. I can't remember how I found her or how she found me or whatever. But all I remember is like, I think she started YouTube before I did. And I was so motivated by her because sis be showing up. Like she is, baby sis be showing up like her middle name is YouTube. Like one thing that I liked about her is that she really, her channel is like, it, it, she's doing the damn thing. And what I mean by that is like, 
sis be going to get her own hello fresh it's almost as if she wants certain uh sponsorships so what she'll do is go out and she makes her own magic happen and she shows up she's consistent she's constantly showing up and she does not give up and so that was when i first found her that was one of the things that i i noticed about her is like she is relentless and she does not stop she shows up and i would it would mean so much to me if you guys We'll go to her channel and follow her. It really would. She has a beautiful baby boy. Her son is so gorgeous. But it would mean so much to me if you guys could go out and uh, support her. I would appreciate it. Also, guys, if you go over to Work From Home Bay on TikTok, um, I would appreciate if you guys let her know that Rochelle Chanel sent you um, as I am trying to get a little bit more active on TikTok. Um, so, yeah. I just did vlog. Yes, she did. She just did vloggy weary and she was extremely consistent. I just want to support her and see her channel grow because guys, she puts a lot of work into her content and she really takes her channel seriously. And I would just love to see her grow. If you guys could just go over and support it would really mean a lot to me. But, um, oh, uh-uh, girl, y'all, no, nah, uh-uh, y'all, not nah, my sister in here. It's time about what's the wig website. Um, so the wig website is ready, but guys, there's only, I don't know, y'all, let me know if this will be a big deal to you guys. Number one, I'm working with PayPal and PayPal has helped me create what's called a PayPal me. A PayPal me is basically where you guys as the consumers will have the option to select credit card as a payment, PayPal as a payment, Venmo, or just PayPal uh, uh, installments. Um, unfortunately, my PayPal me is not working. And so right now, the only thing that's working is where you guys can actually use PayPal or just the for the uh, the PayPal quad pay or the PayPal installment plan. Is that a big deal to you guys? Um, also, I am not able to create a hyperlink for whatever reason. So I want you guys to be able to go to my playlist, my wig playlist and see the corresponding uh, picture on the website. And then connect that with the wig that you want. So you, if this is your first wig, you will know how to style the unit. So if that's not a big deal to you guys, I'll be, I will drop, I'ma drop that shit now. Roll with it, roll with it, roll with it, roll with it, roll. No, let me stop. Okay, I said I was gonna be acting sophisticated on tonight's live. So let me stop. But anyway. But anyway, if that is not a big deal to y'all, I just those are just two things that I'm um that I'm missing. And I just wanted that to be fixed before we, you know, before we go live with it. Hey, 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 we got $19, baby. Keep the, can we keep the party going? Can we keep the party going? In fact, you know what? I'm about to, uh-uh, girl. We about to, uh-uh. I'm finna pee in my cash out. Since we sent, baby, Miss Shirley Hunt and got it started, y'all. Miss Shirley Hunt put your girl back in her first pair of heels. Let me tell you, I told that story already. When my shoes, my all my shoes had burnt up, y'all, she had sent me a big old box of heels and stuff or whatever, girl. So anyway, uh, baby, let's let's get this thing started. Let me put my, let me drop my cash out for the girls who didn't get a chance to send me a birthday gift. You know what I'm saying? Since my birthday was so close to Christmas, Christmas. Okay, let me see here. All right, but yeah, girls. So, um, yeah, there we go. Hold on, girls. I bet y'all like, I know, I know she didn't. I know she didn't. <laughs> but anyway, so. Let me know if that is, let me know if, if you guys, like, if that's, if that's, let me know if my concern is a concern to you. If it's not a concern, we can definitely, I'll definitely uh, drop the link to the website. In fact, um, if my sister, uh, Tiffany, if you are still in here, can you please drop the link? please. Um, yeah, I think I, yeah, I pinned it. I pinned, um, I pinned my cash up. Hold on. Y'all, I be liking, I be want to be, I be want to be organized, girl. 
But yeah, okay, so guys, let me know if let me know if that's a big deal to y'all in terms of the uh just a, a few of the um just a few of the little things. Also, guys, I'm only gonna be shipping within the United States. Um, and then also, guys, um okay, okay, not a concern. So let me see if I can. Drop the wig link. Hold on. I'm trying to see like how do how would I do that? Because everything, maybe I can do it from my iPad. Hold on, girls. Y'all, I am tech savvy, but uh doing this stuff in real time. Okay, maybe I can do it like this. Okay, hold on. Let me do this. So I'm going to see if I can do it from my. Um, and let me see if it'll let me log in. Hold on. So I'm looking to see if it's going to allow me to log in from. My actual Rochelle Chanel YouTube account. Girl, y'all, baby, they on Monique's head, girl. Y'all, they are on her head about this message uh, that her son put out there. And I'm just like, yeah. Mm. Let's see. Community. Okay, let me click on the live. Girl, hold on. Okay, so maybe it'll let me do it like this. Skip ad. Okay, let me pause it on my phone and let me, I'm getting the link for you now, guys. Hold on. Okay, so you guys should be, so I just dropped the link uh, to the website. It says PayPal is yeah, PayPal, it is. It is guaranteed and it is safer. Um, yeah. My birthday was January the 11th. Thank you. Thank you, Marie Williams. She said I look pretty in my glasses. Thank you. You're welcome, Genovia. All right, so the link is there, guys. If you if y'all are interested in going over and checking anything out, uh, the shipping will be three business days. So I'll be shipping the wigs out. Everything on the website is already ready. Already, the wigs have been washed and conditioned. Um, and honestly, they just need to be packed up. Um, I will require a signature. I put all this stuff on the website, so you guys will have to sign for the package. Um, you know, because we don't want any, uh, porch pirates as they call them to come in and, you know, take your packages. So you will need to sign for the package. And then if maybe if you get it shipped to your job, a receptionist signs for it, you will be able to see who, you know, who signed for everything. So, yeah. All right, so what else is going on, girls? Y'all a little quiet tonight. We have approximately 82 bombshells in the chat, and we have approximately 55 likes. Can we get the uh, the live audience to the likes to match or the, uh, I guess, the what? Attendees. Can we get the attendees to hit the thumbs up so we can get everything to match across the board? All right. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, guys, if y'all don't mind, if you could hit the thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. It just pretty much tells YouTube that um, you want more content from me. Ooh, not us having 67 likes. Thank you guys very much. And not us having 89 bone shells in the chat. Hey, Laura. 
Well, Monique's son just said that they neither one of them have an interest in securing a relationship with each other. And uh, she had she because she had mentioned that she had prayed and asked God to uh, give them a, you know, I guess to fix their relationship. And he was like, that's not true. He's just pretty much saying like she doing this stuff for stunts and for shows. She really doesn't have an interest in uh, building a relationship with him. He also said that he had to write everything down. He needed to keep his thoughts organized. And the only way that the only reason why he was communicating in the way that he did is because he can't literally sit down and have a conversation with her without being interrupted. And I get it. I understand. So um, he did. He did. He is very well educated. He is very well spoken. And he's uh, he appears to be doing really well for himself. So, yeah. All right. You guys are really uh, quiet tonight. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to come down and announce the. Oh, thank you. Somebody just. Um, let me see. OK. All right, so it looks like someone just placed the order. All right. Oh, just a second, guys. So let me do this. Hold on. Um, thank you. So someone just placed the order for a unit. Thank you very much. So I'll make sure that I go uh, that I go and I process that order. Hold on, guys. Let me see something. All right. So, yeah, I will process. So I'll process all of the orders, the orders that we get tonight. I'll process the orders, guys. I just um, kind of saw something else on this I saw something else on the website but um yeah so but that's okay we'll we'll fix all of that stuff tomorrow but anyway guys hold on I think somebody else said something hold on first time catching a live done I definitely get that when is your next trip uh, I don't yet i i haven't i haven't planned anything yet girl um are you going to the houston rodeo i might i don't know y'all it'd be too many people y'all know i don't like crowds girl i'm always watching for it's hard to comment oh thank you reds world thank you so much i appreciate that um yeah i think it is i, I think it is a little i've never i i watch youtube on my television as well and i don't i will hit the thumbs up but i don't um I don't do any comments or anything like that. So, but yeah, but yes, girls, I appreciate y'all so much. I'm excited. I made my first wig sale, girl. I'm excited or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I, I, it won't, it, it might be a vlog this week. It might just be something quick, like spend the day with me. Like maybe I'll vlog all day tomorrow and do a quick little one to edit it and drop it on Friday. I can't make any promises because sometimes the day don't go the way that you, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't necessarily go the way that you want it to. Um, hey, Deanna, Lily's pet. Hey, love the chat. Thank you. I wanted to wear pink, girl, you know, in celebration of uh, Valentine's Day, girl. Valentine's what it is. You know, the girls be down to the pain. Valentine's. It's not Valentine's. It's Valentine Day. But anyway, thank you. So, yeah, girl. Um, Yeah, I won't be doing it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the rodeo. I don't know, y'all. The rodeo be a mess. It's like you have to get a ride to the um, 
you have to get a ride down there. Then after you get a ride down there, you got to get another ride to the rodeo. It, it just, it's a lot, guys. It's a lot. And I don't like big, big crowds like that. Yeah, I do. Jamie, yes, it does have the option PayPal, um, quad pay, or, I'm sorry, PayPal installments. So you can um, have your payments uh, paid in installments. You can do that, yes. Yeah, the rodeo is a lot, guys. It is. It, it's a lot. It's, it's definitely... Um, it can be overwhelming if you're not used to crowds and you don't enjoy crowds and stuff like that. It's a lot now. It's cool if you were invited to a tent. Like when I worked uh, in the oil and gas industry, my company, we would have our own tent. And so it was pretty easy. You just go down there, you go to your tent and you chill for the rest of the night and then you go home. But I don't know anyone in the oil and gas industry anymore. In fact, I don't really, I I only know my small circle and my small circle, girl, they, they don't, a lot of my friends are entrepreneurs and so they don't know anyone either. So yeah. Oh, really? You want the Bob wig, girl? Okay. I will make sure which one. Cause I got like, I got two, I got three, but two of them have been set to the side for family. And then I have one and I was contemplating selling it. But um, in fact, where that wig at? Hold on, girl. Let me go get that wig. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a, I have to make sure y'all don't see my booty. Hold on. I'm going to go get the wig though. Where is, let me see. Where is, oh, it's right Y'all, I don't be want, I ain't want y'all to see my booty girl. <laughs> But the, so this is, I don't, this is the only uh, bob wig that I currently have. And I've only worn my wig one time. I wore it, I've worn it once. And so this is it. It's really cute too. And so it kind of already came with the layers cut in it. And then it has the part on the side. So I'm not really sure. If this is the one, or if you were referring to the blonde one, but I don't be wearing um uh, <laughs> somebody talking about not your booty. <laughs> Y'all, I be be I be feeling shy about my little body, girl. I be trying, I don't be trying to show this little this little body, girl. But um, <laughs> but uh, so this is the this is the only bob wig that I currently have. Um, I mean, I have, and this is just the construction of the unit right here. It has the combs. Um, of course, I would have to wash it and condition it if you if you are interested in it. So um, just let me know, Shirley. You have my email address, so you're more than welcome to email me if you are interested in that wig and we might be able to just work something out without me listing it on the website. So just let me know. Hold on. Let me see these comments, girl. Hold on. I need to learn how to measure wig cap size. Girl, y'all, the wig company stopped. Um, they stopped doing all of that. Do you want a small, medium, or large? They start send sending out a standard size wig, which is about 22 inches, which is why now all of my wigs, like in the back, all of my wigs are too big. And so what I have to do is literally take a needle and thread and sew the wig cap, you know, like sew some of the rolls together, girl. And that's something I found out on TikTok. Y'all, TikTok be, they be telling the, they be telling the truth, girl. Like, well, not tell, well, they do tell the truth, but TikTok be putting you on. 
No, I don't have on Daisy Dudes. Y'all, girl, y'all know I be walking around with my leggings and stuff on, baby. I'm all, I always got on some clothes because I don't know when I'm going to have to run up out of this apartment because Big Roof is not fighting and coming through the ceiling or somebody then burnt up some weed sandwiches. So I always have on clothes because it's crazy over here. You just never know what's going to happen. So ain't no sleeping sexy or nothing down to the uh down to the uh auger on the harbor sis you better have on the turtleneck some leggings and your emergency wig by the door because if you don't you're gonna be naked and bald-headed out here in these streets and that i am not trying to get caught out here because y'all when my apartment had burnt up i couldn't find a i didn't even wear wigs at the time girl but i used to be wearing them ponytails and girl i had woke up and it was all that smoke girl my hair was all over my head I ain't had, girl, all I had was a towel and I already, I had a nightgown on. Girl, I was barefooted and bald-headed down to the, with the firefighters, girl, but they was, y'all don't firefighters, they was still trying to give me and stuff, you know? <laughs> My friend ended up bringing me, like, a sports bra, some fleece pants, and some damn, girl, y'all, my friend just hurry up and grab, like, some Pumas, and it was, like, some size 12 men Pumas, girl, but even even with me being bald headed with a towel wrapped on my head, with a sports bra on and some leggings and some big men's pumas, girl, them firefighters was trying to get me, girl. But I was, I was too, y'all, my brain was all over the place. It was, I couldn't even think. It was just too crazy. Hey, girl. Candidly V, hey, girl. Let me see. Oh, yes, that's it. Okay, Shirley, I love you so much, girl. Make sure you email me. Hey, Margarita. Uh-uh, Margarita, we need to talk. I'm mad at Margarita. Margarita had made me mad. Y'all, Margarita, Margarita, my twin, but she had tried to, like, she had tried to stun on me a little bit, and that had made me mad. It says, I just bought that AliExpress wig. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Oh, my God, girl, I'm excited, too, girl. Uh, Miss P. Hey, girl. Okay, Lily's pet. Imagine all that fire, all of that fire incident. You are, uh, yeah, yeah. I am Leary, girl. Oh, thank you, y'all. Tina says she loved my bubbly personality. Not Houston with the fine. Yeah, girl, the, baby. The men's be fine out here, but y'all, I be like this, sis. Y'all, the head bombshell. I'm gonna be honest, guys. My focus is this, and if I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. Seriously, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing this, I'm doing this, and I'm doing this. Literally, seriously. And it's like, my focus is just like, you know, it's so, it's so, uh, it's so crazy. No, because, because I don't know, I had... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. Why is it on there? Hold on, girl. I the I thought I the website is in here. Okay, let me let me copy. Oh, oh not guys, the website is in here. No, because y'all, because I don't know. I just be feeling like I don't know. Okay, so for me. I'm working on being a better communicator, but for me, it's like, I try to support all of my bombshells, the girlies with the YouTube channels and stuff like that. And I, when I go to, to channels, I'm just watching, but sometimes, I don't know, I just feel like people will sometimes, not, not, I'm not saying Margarita did, does this, but sometimes guys, I just feel like people sit up and they consume your content just to find things wrong. It's not, they're not laughing. They're not getting inspired. They're not learning. They're not, it's not any of that. And it's just like, sometimes just feeling picked apart. And I understand that comes with the territory, but then we just, it's sometimes it's just like, for me, it's things that don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, which is why I'm I'm big on. I, you guys know I don't get into discussions about people's physical appearance. I fucking hate that. Excuse my French, but I hate when people talk about how people look. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't like that. Like I don't. But then on the on the flip side, I think like it just be like small little things sometimes that I feel like why is that a big deal? It doesn't matter. So I have a clock in my kitchen, guys. The clock does not work. The clock used to work, but I got scammed. I basically got scammed. The clock in the kitchen, it was supposed to be 
in the uh, beauty room. The company that sent me the clock, they lied to me about the dimensions of the clock. And I'm 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 gonna get to the story, I'm gonna get to the point. So they lied and they gave me the dimensions of the box and not the clock. So when I got the clock, it's, it was significantly smaller than the wall I needed to cover. So I decided to put it in the kitchen. I put it in the kitchen and it fell off the wall. When it fell off the wall, it broke, so it doesn't work. But I think maybe I, I just had, I was having a day where I was just like, I was going, it was a lot going on. And it was like, I had gotten quite a few comments about, oh, are, are you going to change the time on the clock? When are you going to change the time on the clock? And it was like, it was pissing me off because it was like, dude, this, this was like such a profound vlog. And that's all you can talk about is the fact that I changed the time on the clock. Like, and I think it was just one of those things like this vlog was well, way more, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you're so it's so in my mind, I'm like, so you're sitting up, you're consuming the content, but for the most part, you're looking to find shit wrong. And so you can't find nothing else wrong but the clock on the wall. And so I had gotten a series of comments. And so I was just pissed. And it's like at first I was just deleting the comments. And then I was like, I at some point I just said, why does it matter? What is the why is that a big deal for everything that I give on my channel? The advice I give, how to do this, level up. I'm encouraging you guys to get on YouTube do this, do that. The thing that you can point out is the fact that the time on the clock, the clock don't work. Come on. So I was just in one of those moods. And so, you know, y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. You know, it, it was just one of those days where I was like, that shit don't even matter. But anyway, I'm sorry. I had turned into a corporate thug. Let me get back into, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to go that go, but I just had, I just, I just, I just had to say that. Um, girl, yeah, I don't no, nah, don't be messing with the law enforcement men's here. The the law enforcement guys, they bad news. And I dated a police officer already. I won't be doing that again. Yeah, girl, big Rufus. They do be fine, but that's it. They just eye candy. I love the one day in black. Oh, yeah, girl. I forgot about that. Thank you, girl. We're going to be doing more of that. Um, someone suggested someone suggested that I do a weekend, but I'm like, that's not the name of the series. It's not weekend. It's dinner in. It's You go to the city, you have dinner there, and you leave. Dinner in. I flew to Vegas for dinner. It's not the weekend in Vegas. It's dinner in Vegas. Guys, we went on a Tuesday and we left on a Tuesday. That's the, the 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 series is for the corporate girls that want to call in sick. It's for the girls that call in sick. You all you do call in sick for a day and a half. Leave your job at twelve. Get on the plane at three, and then go to Vegas if you have to spend a night at nine, and just don't go to work the next day. It's for the corporate thugs. It's a series for the corporate thugs. That's all it is. Okay, it's for the girls who don't want to eat up all their vacation time trying to stunt and be in Vegas for the weekend and be ready to go by the second day because Vegas is only a city where three days is enough. In one ear and out the other. People just nitpicking anything and, and can't compare. Oh, thank you so much. I know, Margarita, I know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, th that that's the thing. Yeah, a lot of people will stand at the time. But see, the thing is this, I control my own destiny. And, and with that being said, it's going to be a lot of times when I'm going to turn the camera on and it's going to be three o'clock and it's going to every day, all day for the whole vlog. And the vlog might be four days long because I control my own destiny over here. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the Bombshell Network is about, guys. It's about, like I said, us creating our own path. And if you got a clock and you want it to be three o'clock every day at your house, it is your destiny and prerogative to do that. So that's what it TI is, baby. Now, will I be trying to go get the clock fixed? Probably not. And I'm looking over there because the clock is literally, <laughs> it's literally right there. I ain't going to get that clock fixed because I already got scammed. I already got scammed. And then, girl, they I couldn't return it. So, oh, well. Can't wait to see the next episode. I noticed that the clock is not working, but it was funny to me. Yeah, the clock, it don't work. It don't move. Y'all know how y'all know how they say people have be stiff and it don't move. Well, the clock is stiff and it don't move. Now, just for comedy purposes, I will move the hands around a little bit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'll move the hands around occasionally, but that's you know, just for entertainment purposes. I 
Um, I know. Okay. Yeah. Can't wait to see the next episode. I like that. Absolutely love that. Yes. Um, yeah, that's what I was. Yeah. I had, I had said that in a blog. So when I first started the Vegas blog, I was, I was saying that this is for all of my corporate thugs. This series is really for the corporate thugs. That's really what I was saying. But girl, when I look back at the footage, girl, the, the their camera was so close. It was like that close to my face. And I just saw, so I just deleted that. But that's really who it was for. Like, if you, I'm not encouraging you guys to use your sick time and vacation time and stuff. I mean, not use your personal days and stuff, but I just feel like I know what it's like to be sitting in corporate America and sitting and, and watching your life go by. And you, like, guys, the worst list, let me tell you. I, my office literally used to be across from Morton Steakhouse. I don't know if you guys have a Morton Steakhouse in your city, but we have a beautiful Morton Steakhouse downtown on Lamar Street. And downtown on Lamar Street, across the street is Waste Management. Now, I don't know if that building is still being occupied by Waste Management employees, but that's where my office was. Literally at 534, I would be sitting in my office processing a damn purchase order or working on an acquisition, looking downstairs at the girls, at Morton Steakhouse. And I was miserable. And I was like, I'm sick and tired of being in this damn jail. It was like a jailhouse. And I was over it. And I and so I just would think about and fantasize the life that I wanted for myself. And so I was like, I know. So when I started doing YouTube or, you know, or when I just kind of started thinking more about my audience and who follows me, I was like, man, I know it's somebody out there that wish that they could be in Vegas somewhere or wish that they could be uh, anywhere right now other than work. And it's like, I know everyone doesn't have the luxury of time. Sometimes guys, luck, time is a commodity. Time is a luxury. You know what I'm saying? Because you can do a lot with just time. And I was like, there has got to be another way to skin this cat. So I'm not going to come down to the bombshell network and tell you guys to quit your job, but I'm going to tell you how you can still live life and have a little bit of an enjoyment. By the way, guys, I didn't get to the chance to say this, but V and I, we went on a Tuesday, like I said earlier, we went on a Tuesday. So the, the, the consensus is that you would do it during, during the weekday. You do it. You do the, uh, you do the, uh, the dinner in whatever city during the week because it's more affordable and it's less people there. Now, another thing that I told y'all in the blog, but I deleted it, girl, y'all, why it was for men and, and me and B was laughing, y'all, it was for men on the plane that had snuck to Vegas for the day. Y'all, they snuck to Vegas for the day because Vegas had a smoking convention. So they actually invited us to the smoking convention and we was like, now nah, y'all, these were four nerds. Four techie nerds that literally got up that morning, got dressed, put on their work clothes, got their briefcase, and snuck and went to Vegas. So, girl, y'all, y'all, if them four nerds can sneak and go to Vegas for the day, anybody can do it. Anybody can. And, girl, they they went, they, they got smoked out and choked out and got on a plane and came back to Houston. <laughs> Girl, not nah, Houston. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going away. They fine. Yeah, they fine. Girl. Okay, we we getting off track. I said I was doing this and this, doing this and this. None of this, none of this. But anyway, um, yeah. Okay, so I have I have one in my living room that is set on twelve every day. I figured at least, yeah, that's what I was saying. A, a bro, even a broken clock is right twice a day. You can't take nothing to the grave. What does what does that mean? You can't take nothing to the grave. Uh, maybe she, oh, may, okay, I may, okay, maybe she's saying you can't take nothing to the grave. Like maybe like don't wait to live life. Maybe because I'm a corporate thug, I use that PTO. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about, baby. A junior, y'all, in it, y'all, girls, girls, girls. It's okay to be a junior corporate thug, guys. It's okay to be a junior corporate thug, meaning that you still kind of scared a little bit, but you bold enough to still sneak and call in and go to Vegas. Please, my government job will be a 980. That Thursday hit, I will be on a red, yeah, a red flight um, with my friends that night, next morning, new city. 
three days back Monday. That's how you do it. That's how you life with Keisha Urban. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, whatever. Hey, Katrina girl. Yes, God is beauty one. Yeah, enjoy your life. Enjoy your life or whatever. I'm um, I mean, guys, listen. Listen, I know we started this 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 thing off all prim and proper. I believe that I kind of crossed my T's and dotted my I's in regards to the whole wig thing. But my thing is this, guys. At some point in life, and this more than likely is going to happen in a work environment, there is going to be someone that's going to come along that wear their pants probably up under their titties, and if not up under their titties, under their neck, and that is going to be the person that's going to come in your life and create a I wish a bitch would methodology for you. And that's going to be the person that you that's going to put you in such a situation that you're going to take life and the bulls by the horn and you're going to go out to the world with that I wish a bitch would mentality. And you know what I'm saying? Somebody is going to come in your life and, and it's not going to be fun, but everybody is going to have a I wish a bitch would realization. It is not going to be fun, but it's going to be necessary. But let me tell you, when you emerge up out of the I wish a bitch would moment and you end up on the other side, when I tell you the way that you walk into rooms is going to be different. When I tell you the way that you show up is going to be different. The way that you represent yourself is going to be different. The way that you represent your brand is going to be different. And you're not going to have to say nothing, but people will recognize and notice a shift. And so... I have had some, I wish, you know what I'm saying? I'm now in my, I wish a bitch would season. That is a season in which I am in. Now, maybe I'll get back to the soft finesse size, but I'm definitely in my, I wish a bitch would season. And I'm just telling you, be prepared because it will happen. I'm, I'm just letting you know that it'll happen and you're going to have to be ready to walk in it. So that's what happened to me down to the corporate, uh, you know what I'm saying, to the in corporate workspaces. And now that I've gotten my myself out of those workspaces, you can't tell me nothing. There is nothing that you can tell me now. Yeah, you can give me advice because I'm always open for advice. But in terms of somebody trying to bully me or badger me or, oh, my God, that's bold, you know, because that's the word that the girls, the girls the girls like to use down to the corporate workplace when you got on something that they can't wear or won't don't would never wear you're really bold for the clothes that you wear is that new you know what i'm saying and so you know you're gonna have a lot of moments like that and it's just gonna be that one person that's gonna drive you is gonna be a shift and i assure you when that shift does happen Ain't nobody going to be asking you, is that new? Ain't nobody going to be saying that's bold because when you, the way that you show up, they going to know that they can't say nothing to you, but good morning. That's, that's the point I got to. I was like, I want to get to the point where the only thing people can say to me is good morning. I ain't want no more conversation. Y'all, I was sick and I was tired. And because of the kind of personality I have at work, I'm not like a quiet person. But for me, when I would go to work and be quiet, I guess it was more like, abuse like they felt that i was being abusive how you gonna say i'm <laughs> girl somebody said i was creating a hostile work environment because i was i stopped being like nice and bubbly and fun and stuff at work girl they tried to tell on me it was like i created a hostile work environment because they was i guess trying to imply like i was weaponizing my silence or something and i was like if I choose to come to work and only want to have a conversation about requisitions, acquisitions, purchase orders, and anything of the sort in supply chain and procurement is concerned, as well as engineering and, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, work orders and the scope of work, and I don't want to talk about anything beyond that, then let me live in my peace. You know what I'm saying? But they're looking at like, oh, well, she didn't start that way. That's not how she started. So now there's this shift, and now she's, she's, you, she's she's hostile. How can you be hostile in a work environment because you're you're quiet? I, I'm just trying to understand that. But again, those are some of the microaggressions that you know women deal with in the workplace. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I went down a whole hell raising rabbit hole, didn't I? I'm sorry. Excuse me, girl. I had this moment was brought to you by Ayamala Fix My Life. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. It says, 
having it. Oh, somebody said, Margarita said she having, oh, they do it. She said, I'm having it at work right now. I'm about sick of they ish. And I know they sick of mine. But you know what, Margarita? Sis. Get on, um, y'all get on TikTok, girls. Y'all get on TikTok and start looking up um UGC user user generated content. Guys, there's a way, there's so many ways to skin a cat. I don't know if you guys watch Maya Galore, but Maya Galore dropped a video today, and her video was just answering questions and stuff. And some a young lady asked her a question, and Maya was like, sis, get online and start making some of this money. Like there's something you can do online to generate some income for yourself. Margarita, your uh your platform is already established. Even if you in user generated content, guys, is content that you create for companies that's not. You don't need to post it on your YouTube channel or anything like that. I mean, literally, it can just be you sitting here uh, just doing like talk. Because, guys, this is uh, Poppy, which is a, pro, a, a probiotic soda mixed with ginger ale. You guys can just simply talk about this drink and, you know, show certain angles or whatever, 30 seconds, and you can make $121. You can do that a couple of times a day. And so, guys, make sure that y'all are going out and you guys are looking up UGC uh, because that's going to be a really, really big thing. And then just try to get active on TikTok. Like, I don't really know how to TikTok, but I'm going to figure it out. Um, are you doing your consulting business interview preps? Um, Valencia, I, I was, but I kind of stopped because, y'all, I don't know what happened to our IT guy. Um I don't know what happened to him and I was needing him to help me with my website. And so I think I got a little bit uh, discouraged maybe or not even discouraged. I just felt like the website, I don't have no website. How am I going to book these sessions? Are people, another big, big, big concern I had is are people going to want to pay for the services? considering, you know, something, you know, some people are people going to want to pay for the services. So it was a lot of things that I had concerns about. And so what I decided to do was focus on selling the wigs because at least that's a tangible product. And I can offer you that you'll get something tangible and you'll be able to pay it in installments if you have to. So that's honestly where my focus has been. Baby, it's me giving these Miss America answers, girl. Okay. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to provide a little bit of brevity on the next question that I, that I answer. <laughs> How long, girl? The chat thing is messing up. Uh-uh, wait a minute. Y'all, not me messing up. Okay, here we go. Okay, it says, I wish my body could stay up for two days. Should I be having? Yeah, yeah, okay. So it says, are you still? It says, I wish my body could stay up for two days straight like I used to. Girl, tell me about it. When I was in my 20s while traveling, um, yeah, life of Keisha. Yeah. I mean, girl, the way I'm gonna be honest, the way that them flights be set up, girl, you can sleep on the plane. And by the time you get there, you're gonna be so excited, girl. I I I read somewhere that even if you're quiet, someone will yes, they will complain and they're gonna tell on you. They be girl, trying to tell about I was being hostile. <laughs> girl, y'all, they said I was hostile because I was quiet at work. I could not believe it. One of my employees said, I'm putting too much pressure on her to learn her job quickly. Meanwhile, she can't even learn at a normal pace. Ma'am, you see what I'm saying? Because people absorb and learn the way that they, but you know what, Margarita, she learned the way that she want to. I bet you if you, if you put her, if you took her um, requisition and put it in the words of sexy red, I bet sis would learn that job in less than a day. I, I assure you. You know what I'm saying? How do you work through anxiety and having to speak uh, with an aggressive manager? Unfortunately, sometimes you have to learn how to speak somebody's language. If I was in that situation now, um, what I would do is write my thoughts out. And uh, what I would do to show them that I meant business is go into a meeting with my thoughts already written out so I can address certain things and I would not miss any points. Another thing that I would not do, because more than likely, if you have an aggressive manager, they have some passiveness there, being they are passive and aggressive or passive aggressive. One thing that I've learned, and this is a military tactic, guys, when you are serious about something and you do not want people to play with you, what they do when things get a little bit uncomfortable, they get like, oh, <laughs> oh my God, do not laugh. 
Do not fall into that. You keep a straight face and you stay on course. Don't deviate. And another thing they do is try to, you know, take you off of your course when they're uncomfortable. And so what you're going to do is say, well, no, what I want to do, I want to make sure that we're clear on this point. So I want to drive this point home again. I just, I observed you doing X, Y, and Z, and I just wasn't sure. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Don't smile. Don't laugh. Stay the course and make sure that they're clear on what it is that you have a complaint about. That's the most powerful way to show up in those situations because more than likely your manager being aggressive, they're only using that energy towards you because they don't think that you have the tools or anything that you need to uh, do anything. They think that you're just gonna sit there and take it. I mean, yeah, so what, somebody said, what, what really? Oh, yeah. Black women can be. Yeah, you can't be introverted at work. You can't be quiet in the workplace. They keep asking you what's wrong all day. Yeah. Lakeisha, you're right. Akeisha, you're right. Um, are you OK? How's everything going? Um, I looked up UGC and you're right. Um, we have way too many products we use every day. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So yeah, definitely um, look up UGC content, guys. And this is even, in fact, I had gotten um, an email from a company and guys, they were looking for women that were 40 plus years old to create this user-generated content. Uh, the company was wanting to work with, uh, work with creators probably about two to three times a week. And the jobs paid anywhere from $121 to about $300 um, so even if you did that two to three times a week, and we'll just say each job was $300, then that's $900 a week. And so you definitely want to get into that. Um, it's, there's a lot of money in that. Um, when you first start doing your UGC content, I know a lot of people want you to have a green, green screen. And if you guys don't have a green screen, you can just, you know, just sit against a white wall, guys. Make sure you're sitting against a white wall. Also, what I would recommend in creating uh, content that you're going to be submitting to different companies and building your portfolio, guys, make sure that you invest in just some plain black t-shirts and some plain white t-shirts. You know, um, a lot of these companies, because you're really talking about the product. You don't need to come down to the thing like I be doing with your prom dress on. That's the direction that I'm going to start going in with these wig companies because it's a lot of work trying to figure out what dress I'm going to wear, what style I'm going to It's a lot of work. So I think what direction I'm going in, I'm about to just get some black T-shirts. Well, not T-shirts, but fitted, fitted tops, black tops, white tops, things like that. And that's just what it's going to be with the wig reviews. Um. Well, I would honestly, I don't know a lot. I'm still in the research phase. Um, I would actually go to TikTok, guys. Y'all go to TikTok. Y'all type up UGC on TikTok. Um, yeah, and you don't need a lot of experience. And honestly, if you really think about it, if you've ever told your friends or your family about a product that is the experience you need. If you've ever said, girl, you need to get this uh, Ash Waganda, <laughs> that's your experience, you know? Um, and then also, guys, some of these products don't even, you don't even need to talk. You can just do, get creative with your editing. Um, but yeah, go look up UGC. And also, guys, look up UGC for Black creators, and you guys will be able to kind of see some of the products that some of the worlds is down to the TikTok making. But that's going to be a really, really big thing. I'm telling you guys this because, like I said earlier, there are a lot of people starting to lay off. And this is basically, um, to me in my personal and professional opinion, a way for companies to rebel against employees who simply do not want to return to the office. And if you guys really think about it, um, thank you so much um, to you. Guys. When you really think about it, when you start thinking about returning to the workspace again, you calculate groceries, you're calculating uh, laundry, and I'm sorry, dry cleaning and the time away from home, the preparation, you're going to be coming off of a, it's, 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 it, it's a job to have a job. You know, that's a lot of extra expenses. And so if you can create another revenue or avenue for yourself to get, you know, more money, even if you want to stay in corporate America, you're, 
it's okay, guys. Another dream that I do not want to sell you guys is that the life of a content, a full-time content creator is so amazing. I don't want to sell you that dreams because this, this journey has a lot of ebbs and flows. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you've gotten so used to the freedom, time freedom. Um, and you know, you have those times where you don't want to do this anymore, but then you think about what other career is going to offer me this level of freedom. And then if you're a creative, such as myself, a left-handed Capricorn creative, what other company is going to allow me to have this level of creativity? Where am I going to go to be able to have 100% creative control in anything that I do? You know, where else am I going to go where I'm making a really comfortable amount of money in less than 90 seconds? You know, you think about those things and then you try to think about another way to go about skinning a cat, you know, so then you get tired, like, okay, I'm not tired of vlogging, but I want more variety in my content. But what I also don't want is for people to think that I have this amazing life where I'm jumping on planes every other day, because that is not my life. But it's only so much going down to Aldi and buying celery that you can do. So sometimes you run out of, um, you run out of creativity. You know what I mean? And you don't always have the creativity. And that's when you get into the, you know what? I'm just going to pick up this camera. We about to have a whole bunch of conversations because it's only so much cleaning up you can do, cleaning out your refrigerator, whatever, you know? So it does have its, it, it has its ups and its downs. Um, another thing that I would encourage you guys to do is go on YouTube and go look at your favorite YouTuber or whoever your favorite YouTubers are, but don't look at their recent videos. Go back as far as you can to their old blogs. Guys, y'all will not believe how much inspiration you'll find from your favorite girlies by looking at their old blogs because it reminds you that they didn't, where they are or where they landed is not where they started. So I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been going back looking at all the girls, they old vlogs. I bet they probably be like, uh, -uh girl, who looking at these old ass vlogs? It's me. I'm, it's me. I'm, I'm the one. <laughs> so girl, I've been going back three years and just looking at all of the old content. And it's definitely, um, it's definitely been inspiring for me. So I would encourage that you guys do that as well. I don't, I don't see myself going back to a corporate space. And the reason why I don't see myself going back to a corporate space is because all of my counterparts and people that I've worked with in, 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 um, in uh, the corporate world with, those people are now jumping ship. You know what I'm saying? People of a particular age, y'all, they jumping ship and they're finding out, figuring out how to make money on their own. I don't know if you just joined the live, but I actually just spoke on this. Like what other arena would I be able to, what other stage, if you will, pun intended or not, would I be able to sit on that's going to allow me to have the level of creativity that I have? What other, I, what other, where am I ever going to be able to go and say, you know what? I need three weeks off. I need a break. What other company am I going to be able to go to and just take three weeks off and just prepare myself to do other things? I don't, think that I could give up the freedom that I have. That's a big thing. Like I have a lot of time freedom. I have a lot of freedom to uh, take my days off when I'm just feeling overwhelmed or my anxiety is too high or whatever. I have a lot of, a lot of days where I can do that. And I don't think that there is a corporate space that's going to allow me that opportunity. Even if I go back in the capacity of being able to uh, consult, being a consultant, if I commit to something, I'm gonna have to show up you know, which is not a bad thing, but I just, I don't want to go back. Don't take me back. I don't want to go back. <laughs> um, it says same. Every time I find a new girly, I like, I subscribe. I go back to her old blogs. Yes. I love that. Do you remember the fashion design students? Do you still mentor the flag? Well, no, I haven't. Um, oh, somebody sent me $20. 
Thank you so much. Oh, that was really sweet. No, I'm going to reach out to Miss Green, which was a teacher, and see if I can go back. But girl, y'all, those girls, y'all, those girls, they ain't want to do nothing but talk about wigs, girl. They wanted me to come back, but they was like, we only want you to come back if you're going to bring us some wigs. And I'm like, look, girl, I ain't bringing no wigs down to the high school, ma'am. So that's that's what they be wanting to talk about. They want me to come back and show them how to put on a wig, girl. <laughs> but yes, I'll be reaching out and I'll be going back soon. Um, you know, I just needed to get some affairs and things like that in order. But yes, I'll be going back soon to visit the girlies. I really, y'all, that was hands down one of my favorite blogs of 2023. I, I still, I saved that blog. I still go back and I watch it. It was such a fun day. Um, I loved it. It was, I just had a great time. It was really, really fun. So yeah, if I go back, I'll blog, I'll blog again. All right. So do you guys have any more questions? Y'all getting, y'all must be full over there from eating them, eating them chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> Ocean friends, that was very sweet. Thank you so much for the $20 cash app. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, girl. I don't, I'm still, guys, in regards to blogging, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I'm still trying to figure it out. The only thing that I can say is when I am, um, when I am doing my blogs, I really am putting my best foot forward. I'm trying to give you guys the best music. I'm trying to give you guys the best editing. I can honestly say the last vlog was not the best editing. I went back and I looked at some areas that could have been a lot tighter, but I was like, you know what? I'm looking at it from a creator standpoint, from a viewer standpoint, they may not even notice the things that I noticed, but I, I just, the next vlogs, I just, that was probably one of the it was loosely edited and I don't like that. So going forward, I'll try to make sure the editing is a lot tighter and so on and so forth. Um, thank you. I am, hold on. It says, would you ever relocate out of Houston? I don't know. I would like to be in a position where I may have a home in a different state or a different country. And then Houston just be my home, my main home. And, uh, you know, maybe a situation like that. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I am Shalina. How did you get, girl? How did you? How do you know I got some strawberries? <laughs> Cause I can hear y'all eating them. Cause I hear y'all over there smacking and stuff. That's how. Thank you. I be trying. I agree. I couldn't ask for anything realer than what you give us. Thank you. I love your transparency. Thank you. I would love for you to do a Houston City life blog. I have a friend considering moving there. I was thinking about that. I was thinking that that would be so much fun, guys. I have so much Houston music uh, that's already been approved by YouTube. I was thinking about doing a tour my city vlog, but I would have to figure out I would have to figure out the transportation part. You know what I'm saying? Like I would have to figure out somewhere where I could maybe drive my car, leave it there and take an Uber to certain parts of the city. And so once I figure out the the uh, transportation, because baby, this traffic and the way, girl, and how we be driving and stuff, girl, because if, if I do it where I'm driving, I'm going to be cussing most of the vlog. And I don't think that you guys are going to be able to receive the message in whence I am trying to provide. Oh, thank you. We love you, Rochelle. You are smart, pretty, and stylish. Thank you, girl. I appreciate it. Yeah, I would love to do a tour, a tour of my city, you know, where we go, you know what I'm saying, and tear the city down. I mean, now, for me, guys, I don't really like doing, like, club. it won't be no club stuff or whatever in there. Y'all, when I first started YouTube, all of my content was me going out to the club and filming the club scenes. And I just did that because I wanted to show my editing skills and I wanted to show my creativity. And I just thought that that's what the girls wanted to see. But, you know, um, I ended up getting COVID. And so after I got COVID, I couldn't be in the clubs and stuff like that anymore. And that's when I started blogging and really showing you guys my personality. And that's really when my channel took off. So when I do the Houston thing, it's probably not going to be no clubs. It might be some little jazz stuff. And then too, like, y'all, my, my going out 
my going out is like getting sexy, getting gorgeous, going to a really swanky restaurant, going to have drinks. Like that's kind of y'all, that's like my going out. So my going out is not really like being like down to the club. You know what I mean? So if that's going to be okay with y'all, because you know I'm going to make it fun. You know, I'm a, even if y'all know I'm going to make it fun, we just ain't going down to no clubs. We're not doing it. But y'all, but the, the drivers in Dallas are so much better. Y'all are way better drivers in Dallas. Thank you. I am Shalina. She said, I really enjoyed your last blog. So inspirational. Or a where to, or where to live blog. Yes. That is coming. That is coming. We are working on the where to live. You guys are going to love it. We're working on that. It's, it's you know, we sung it in the background. We sing it in the background and getting the details of that together. <laughs> We're getting the details of that together. But yes, I have already uh, started kind of mapping out some ideas. You guys are going to, you're going to love it. So I'm going to have to call, I'm going to have to call my girl V guys. Uh, Candidly V, which is the young lady that was uh, with me in Vegas, she has, she is near and dear. She is one of my closest friends. Um, she is my confidant. I mean, I, I love her so much. And so I'm going to have to get with her. Um, she has a very high profile demanding job. I'm not going to tell you guys what field that she's in. So I try to take that into, into consideration and not, you know what I'm saying? Not call her all throughout the day or whatever. But what I'm going to try to do is, is maybe text her. We can get on the phone, get on the horn and see, you know, what we can come up with or whatever. But yeah, we got some tricks up our sleeves, girl. Trust me. That's exactly what I like to see. Not so much club stuff, but other things happening in Houston. I plan on visiting Texas for the first time this year. You gonna love Texas. Sis. You might end up wanting to move here. Thank you. She says she loves the glasses. Uh, what do I edit with, guys? I use CapCut. And right now, guys, CapCut is for the premium pro package. I use the pro package. It is $9.99 a month. I anybody, all of any of the girls down there or any of the girls using CapCut, guys, I would strongly encourage that you purchase the $9.99 uh, monthly subscription. If you don't want to purchase that, it is $90 a year, which is a great deal. Um she is very lovely, Margarita. She really is. She is just such, a, you know, she's such a good spirit. So kind. That's my boo. But yeah. Um, oh, somebody said, yo, music is top tier. Thank you. I work really, really hard on my music. I know a lot of you girls, you want to know how to get music, but I, it's a lot of work. I don't, um, I don't, so I get my music from everywhere. I get my music from TikTok. I get my music from uh, SoundCloud, but um, crab legs and heart-shaped chocolate chip cookies, hey! So basically when I get my music, I, I don't just, I don't just get it and don't do nothing to it. There is a process that the music has to go through that I put my music through. Um, I use a application called SoundLab. And then um, I also, and the sound lab just kind of um, separates the vocals from the actual music. Um, I also use a feature in CapCut and that feature cleans up, it cleans the music up. You know, guys, like when people sing, sometimes, especially with the type of music that I get, you can, because I'm not getting music from, I'm getting, uh, what's y'all, what's the name of that when, so I'm getting cover music. I'm getting cover music. I'm not getting like, like, I don't know, Beyonce. I'm getting someone that's singing Beyonce. And a lot of times when I'm getting somebody who's singing Beyonce, sis is singing Beyonce in her living room. And so because a lot of these people don't have um, studios and stuff like that, when they sing, you can hear them taking a breath. You can hear them inhaling. So I have to clean all of that up so the music can be smooth. And so I have to take all of those those breathing noises out. I have to take all of that stuff out. And so you you got to do that. And then if you process the music and you get hit for a copyright strike, you got to separate the song from the music and then you got to realign that song with another with another beat. So it's a lot of work and so that's why I don't yeah, we we I yeah, it's reworked. And so 
a lot of the girlies want to know where I get my music from, how I get it. But when I tell them process, they be like, uh uh, baby, get somebody else to do it. They don't want, they don't really have the time to invest the way that I do. But, you know, I take my, not to imply that you don't take your craft seriously, but I take mine seriously and I take my coin seriously. And I know that if I go through those steps, YouTube is not going to be down to the thing messing with my songs. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll edit a whole video, a whole 50 minute video. YouTube will come in and they will not monetize the video for seven seconds of a song. And so I don't have time for it. Um, Video on how to apply music to your videos. I love your music. Um, You need to host a party so we can all enjoy the music together. <laughs> I have a brother that lives in Houston when these... uh. When these twins start uh, school, I'm going to bring myself to Texas, hopefully. Yeah, that will be a lot of fun. Yeah, Houston is fun, guys. It's just hot. It's just, it gets really hot here. It's cold outside now, but it gets really, really hot here. So um, it says, I think you mentioned you find musicians on. Yes, I do. Yes, I, I said TikTok and I said SoundCloud. Yep, that's where I, I get my music from. Um, but I don't get most of my music. Again, it's not, you know, it's not going to be Beyonce singing it. It's going to be somebody singing. <laughs> somebody singing Beyonce. I'm looking forward to getting back into YouTube using CapCut. Final Cut Pro was very rigid and I hated editing. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I never learned how to use Final Cut Pro. And it is, I, I just, it, I just, and then guys, I never learned how to, I never learned how to edit on a, on a, um, on a computer. I only know how to edit on an iPad. So everything you guys see is me literally editing on a one terabyte iPad, which is this, oops, which is this right here. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be upgrading to a two terabyte soon, but that's where I get all my editing is done on the iPad. Series ideas, since we're talking about navigating weight loss in another country planning, and what do you do differently finding personal style and body, body and home? Series ideas, since we're talking about navigating weight loss surgery in another country. I actually have already uh, made videos about that and I don't I don't really have any updates. I think the only thing only update I have is now 10 years later leaving and going to Tijuana, Mexico and having this surgery. Now I'm seeing the long-term effects and unfortunately guys the long-term effects for me is I cannot gain weight. That has been and a lot of people think that's like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." It's not. Because I would like to gain a few pounds and it's very, very hard. If you miss one meal, like I was up to 138. And yesterday was really just kind of like a relaxing, chill, light work day for me. And I didn't eat as much. Guys, I literally lost a pound. So you really got to be on top of your food, girl. So any of the bombshells going down to Tijuana, Mexico, just know if you had a surgery, you're probably... You ain't gonna have to, you will have weight issues, but it won't be because you gain any weight. It's gonna be because you losing and you can't stop losing. Finding personal style, body, home, adapting to healthy eating habits. Yeah, those are great ideas. Thank you so much. Penny P, uh uh, not Penny sliding, not Penny sliding in alive after she didn't been down there all up in Big Rufus' face, eating scrimps and, and drinking dark liquor. <laughs> Thank you, Penny. Yeah, those are really good. I find a personal style and body and home, adapting healthy weight loss habits and sustaining healthy lifestyle. I, I love that. And I will be bringing more. I don't know. I just be feeling like you guys don't want to see me work out and stuff. And so I don't, I try not to overwhelm y'all with that type of stuff of being in the gym and working out. And I don't know. I just, I just, I, the reason why I say that is because I remember when um, I used to watch my favorite girlies and I remember when they would be working out and at the time I didn't, my mind wasn't on working out and because my mind wasn't on working out, I'd be like, I don't want to see that. I want to see her put a cute outfit on and go and go out to dinner, you know, and I didn't have any interest in fitness because in fitness content because I, I wasn't in a gym. So I thought that you guys felt the same way, which is why when I be going to work out, I don't always take y'all with me. Hey, shy. I think it's shy. Torment. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It says you no longer want a baby. Would you consider? I do. I mean, 
I don't want, mm -mm, I don't want no pet. That's, I was, uh -uh, mm -mm, cause I don't want, no, because we got to pay pet rent here. And I think it's like $300 a month. I think the deposit is like 250. And then with me, I'm going to be traveling more and having to leave my animal with someone else. It's just a very, just like a baby. It's a very big expense that I just don't want to take on. Um, I'm scared to get the procedure out of the, another country. I mean, they may have changed their, the way that they do things. Maybe they change, but girls, when I went to Tijuana, um, the way that they determined what weight you should be, guys, they literally like did like a, a bone, like a bone density measurement thing. So they measure like your bones, like your wrist and other parts of your body. They look at your height and your weight. And from that is, that's how at the time, guys, it was 10 years ago. That's how they determined how much weight or what weight I should be. At the time I was 235 pounds and I was five foot three. But when they measured my bones, guys, look how tiny my little bones are. <laughs> look, look at that big hula hoop around my hand. So when they did the measurements, they was they was like you're supposed to be 135 to about 140 and in accordance to that that's what they cut my stomach down to and so now guys my stomach is the size of a little bitty banana and unfortunately it never you know how some girls have the surgery and their stomach will expand my stomach never expanded and it's it's never expanded it's just this tiny little stomach and unfortunately i still go through times where I'm not able to keep my food down and stuff like that. And so I can't, there's no way for me to ever overeat. I got to eat in small portions and, and stuff like that or whatever. So I'm not going to lie. Um, I, you know, I'm very happy with my results. I just wish that it was a little bit easier to gain weight. Um, oh my God, I'm scared to get surgery. Yes, we, okay. Y'all saying y'all do want to see workout content. Okay. I can do that. Um, and then, okay, I'll do that. And then that, that'll also give me an opportunity to kind of start working with some different activewear sponsorships and stuff like that. So I'll definitely start incorporating my working out and my eating habits. Um, guys, I want to take like some cooking classes and stuff because I really do want to be, I used to be a great cook and I haven't really had to cook in like 10 years. Um, my last relationship, the guy I was with, he did all the cooking and so we were together for a while. So I just got rusty over the years. And when we broke up, I just, you know, I ain't gonna lie, she girl, when me and him broke up, I was working in engineering and all them engineers, you know, we used to be going out to dinner and doing stuff. And so I never really had to cook in all of these years because I would just go out to eat and do whatever. It says, did you immediately start eating healthy after your surgery or was it a work in, pro in, in, in progress? I had Aeroscope, which is not as intense as anything you had, but I regressed and started snacking um, with my surgery uh, in Tijuana, Mexico, because they they pull your they pull everything so tight. You don't have a choice but to eat healthy. What they tell you to do is eat moist foods like noodles and things like that. But um, because my surgery, they were very aggressive in giving me a lot of uh, restriction. I didn't have a choice but to eat healthy. Now, as my surgery got started getting a little bit older, like maybe about a month or two old, I started mentally, I started falling back into those eating habits, like sneaking and going to, um, sneaking and going to, uh, well, um, Whataburger. I was sneak out, y'all. I was still sneaking and going and doing a, what I call a parking lot crawl. So I was still sneaking and going to Whataburger, sneaking and going to, um Taco Bell and Shipley's Donuts and sneaking and trying to eat that stuff. Who, who was I sneaking from? I don't know. <laughs> but I was sneaking and eating that stuff and I was getting, I would get sick and I kept getting sick and kept getting sick. And so I was forced to eat healthy. I did not have a choice because my body wasn't processing beef. It wasn't processing uh donuts and all of that BS. And so I had to eat healthy. And honestly, I kind of still do because my body is it just won't really, I can't eat a whole bunch of junk food. I wish I could, but I can't. It says followed by Krista Williams. So she has, yes, it says followed by Krista Williams. She has you, you is a, is UGC videos. Yeah. 
Have you ever been on a cruise? No, I have not ever been on a cruise. I don't know, girl. I want to. Uh, I wanted to take a dinner cruise, y'all. Y'all want to. Y'all want to see me go on a dinner cruise, just like a cute little dinner cruise, and come back. I don't want to be on the ship that long though, because I was thinking that would be cute. Um, we want to see everything. Uh uh. <laughs> she said we want to see everything. Yeah, yeah. Lucky you. Yes, cooking class would be great. I've been thinking about doing some as well. I'm a good cook, but I want to be a great cook. Girl, yes, I was sneaking, girl. I was sneaking and eating and stuff, girl, y'all. I used to be sneaking and getting full because, y'all, I was so embarrassed about my weight, guys. I was so ashamed. And so, y'all, what I used to be doing, I would go to... um so I would sneak and go to uh, 7-Eleven or Stop and Go, which is a convenience store here. And that's why I would buy all of my junk food. So that would be my first stop. So I would go buy my ice cream, my ho-hos, my ding-dongs. And I would take all of that stuff home. And then, y'all, they arguing. Y'all hit them. They arguing. They arguing, bitch. They arguing. Y'all hear them. Girl, they in the hallway arguing on Valentine's Day, girl. They do not let up. But anyway, so I used to be sneaking and stuff. And <laughs> anyway, girl, I used to be sneaking down to the 7-Eleven buying stuff. And I would go home. I would take all the junk food home. And then when I would go to the grocery store, that's where I would just buy all of my healthy stuff, my meat. Because I would be so embarrassed. Because, girl, y'all, these, girl, the men's in Houston is nosy. They nosy, girl. They will look in your basket and be like, I see them ho-hos you got tucked behind that loaf of bread. Y'all, people used to be saying stuff to like that to me. And they used to be saying stuff like, you don't, you don't need them donuts. Girl, y'all. And so I, I would just be so embarrassed. I just stopped buying food like that in big stores like Walmart, H-E-B, because someone was always looking in my basket and embarrassing me. And so I learned, my, you know, I kind of learned how to finesse or whatever. So that's what I used to do. Or whatever. And so, and also, I didn't want my neighbors to like uh, see me getting food and stuff. And so I used to get my big old purse and I would go to like five different places, sometimes three. And I would sneak and put all the food in my purse. And then I would just go back home because I didn't want to be judged. Guys, people are very judgmental when they don't see you in, in a certain way. You know, people are very judgmental and people don't have a problem. Um, you know, say like my neighbors at the time, they were very nice, but they was Caribbean and Caribbeans be being mean sometimes. <laughs> I'm not going to say that they be being mean, but my neighbors did not have a problem with telling me that I was so fat and jolly. Oh, look at you. You're so fat and jolly. Like they didn't care. Like they would call me fat and stuff, girl, but they didn't think I think maybe it's just a Caribbean thing where they didn't think it was anything mean about that, but they would, uh-uh. So I, after they, they would be telling me how fat and jolly, because every time they would see me, I was like all bubbly. I had the same personality, guys. The only difference is I lost weight. Oh, and I let I stopped letting people play with me. That's the other thing. But anyway, my neighbors would basically see me always bubbly and happy and laughing, and they would just tell me how fat and jolly I was and stuff. And so I was like, man... <laughs> So that's what kind of made me learn how to like sneak food because I just didn't want to be judged. And I didn't want to be called fat and jolly. You know, that's not a compliment. Rochelle, all uh, Rochelle, all of y'all are so amazing, beautiful spirit. I'm so happy to see you, um, um, to see you, happy to see many of y'all here. Thank you. I appreciate it. And showing much support and love to Rochelle. Let's show her appreciation with a heart. Thank you so much. That's my girl, Shirley. It says, uh, yes, a dinner cruise. Okay, we'll do that. Yes, we want to see it all. It says, yes, I love, I was, I'm scared to, scared of more invasive surgery. So Aeroscope was a happy medium. Yeah. But Margarita, you don't need, girl, you fine. Girl, y'all, Margarita, fine. I ain't going to even lie to you, baby. Margarita, fine. I don't even know what, what she trying to air sculpt. What are you trying to air sculpt? It says, he's, yeah, he was loud. Oh, monkey meat eating ass. But um, it says, all the on the hall, but I hear him because it says, yeah, girl, how you burn pot stickers? Explain to me how you burn pot stickers. That's all I'm saying. It says, my best friend. <laughs> um, don't get 
So don't get put out the house on Valentine's Day. Okay. Girl, it's too late for that. He sounded like he was, he sounded like he was push, pushing some luggage down the hall. He says, I can't wait to see more dinner travel. I can't, girl, y'all. When I tell y'all, I'm so excited. Y'all, but girls, girls, bombshells, girls, y'all gotta be running, y'all gotta run those views up, girls. Girls, y'all gotta run the views up because really by you guys watching the content and stuff, it really does put me in a better position to create even more content because it gives me more revenue. It gives me more resources and it gives me more exposure when companies see that people are really engaging and watching my content. So that's important um, that you guys do that. I would really appreciate it. I wish that we had more uh, views. I wish we were growing faster, as I said in the last vlog, but I do understand that slow and steady wins the race. Um, yes, Caribbeans do not. <gasps> what? Oh, somebody, God has said Caribbeans don't like, is that true? Caribbeans do not like large people. Is that true? I'm Caribbean too. And my auntie's favorite thing to tell us is that we jolly. Girl, I'm cracking up. I'm, Margaret, I'm blushing. How did you let, how did, how to let go of a relationship that does not have a future? Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. Sis, I don't know if you're with a narcissist. But if I, if you are with the narcissist, sis, you just need to withdraw. Cause see, this is the thing, girls. As women, we break up with a man first in our mind, and then the body follows. But what I am gonna tell you is, as a woman, what I know to be true, and it is scientifically and psychologically proven, women vote with their feet. And this is in a professional sense, and this is in a relation sense. And if your feet is still in the bed with Big Rufus, and if your feet it's still down to the office with Kyle and Karen. You're not, you're still voting for them. So the only way you're going to get away is break up mentally first. I don't know what type of guy this is. And so I want to be extremely careful in, in the advice in which I give you. If you feel that this guy is controlling or narcissistic or manipulative, my advice is to withdraw, period. And if you think that he has any of those characteristics, my advice is to uh, probably go ahead and uh, let him do the breaking up. Because you know, that's what we do. As women, we, we want the dude to break up with us first. But if they don't break up, then we slowly break up with them. But if you, you sound like you didn't already broke up with your boy mentally. So I will just slowly start to withdraw. If you've been making plans, I would probably not make plans anymore. But now if you feel that it's salvageable, then perhaps you should take the steps towards trying to save it because I don't I don't necessarily particularly like telling the girls to leave Big Rufus but if Big Rufus ain't doing the things you want him to do just know that somebody else will but if you really serious the first thing you're gonna have to do is stop voting with your feet and get your feet out of the bed with Big Rufus that's all I'm saying but I hope I ain't go too I hope it didn't get too dark and dangerous <laughs> Caribbean men tend to like something they do. Yeah. Caribbean men like them thick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought Caribbean men had like the thick girls. I thought the Caribbean men like the girls that got a little oxtail and a rice and pea on them. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Hey, girl. You're pretty and pink. Thank you. She's somebody, somebody, Nikki, somebody, I just fell way back. It says, my husband is from the islands and his siblings all, yeah, so that's what, and, and y'all, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't feel that my, um, I don't feel that my neighbors was being mean. That I don't think that when Caribbean people say that you fat, you're so fat, you're so fat and jolly. I don't think that they're meaning it to hurt you. I just think that that's just not, I think as Americans, we're really sensitive about that term. You know, I don't use that term. It's just, we're sensitive about it, but I don't think that they, uh, <laughs> I don't think that they mean that to hurt you. Just, But like in America, if a man be like, with your fat, bald headed ass, you know, you know, he's saying that to hurt you. You know he's saying that to hurt you, you know? Yes, but the women can be a bit harsh. Peas and rice, they want to be, they want you to be healthy. Yeah. I did, I thought that. Um, a Caribbean, yeah, the Caribbean, baby, yes, tell me. Baby, them Caribbean men be liking them, them girls all thick with them rice and peas. 
Yeah, fat, it mean wealthy. You're so fat and thick and jolly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Fat and Jolly is like a positive, a positive, like, I don't know, I just think like in different cultures, th certain things that they say to you aren't like the offensive way. Y'all, I had met this uh, on my way, on my way home from Columbia when I initially, when I first went to Columbia to get my teeth done, on my way back from Columbia, I had met this Jamaican guy, he was a really nice guy or whatever, but I never, like, I never was, y'all, I don't know, I'm a, I guess I'm kind of a nerdy. Like, I've never, I don't be wanting to, like, like, I met him at the airport. And he was going to New York. I was coming back to Houston. But I, he would, like, invite me to meet him in Florida. But I never would. Like, I would never meet him in Florida or whatever. And so I think he could kind of tell, like, I was a little bit conservative. And I guess one day he tried to test my gangster girl, y'all. Why did he ask me if I was a, y'all? <laughs> He was like, are you a bitch in bed? And I was like, what? I had never, I had never heard that, but he just asked it so like it was just like a normal thing. And I I never heard of somebody asking somebody if they was a bitch in bed. Like, what and what does that mean? Are you because I mean I'm a bitch in traffic, you know what I'm saying? But I can't, I ain't no bitch in bed. I mean, I was like, what why would you ask me something like that or whatever? I know. Girl, Nikki talking about, huh? Yes, y'all, he asked me that. He asked me that. And I wasn't finna get into no whole, like, ex like conversation with him because we was on, it was like a phone conversation. And plus, he had never, like, um, he had never talked to me like that before. He's always talked to me really respectfully. But it was at that moment he knew he fucked up because we never talked again after that. Because, sir, don't be trying to test me. Shit. Girl, yeah, I uh -uh. don't be trying to um don't be trying to like I I did I just we just gonna say this I just didn't like that but anyway girls I'm sorry I'm I'm looking at the comments so yes girls but we have been on this thing for a periodically long time. I know that some of you girlies uh, may have some things to do in the morning, um, like get ready for work or, you know, whatever you have to do in the morning. So I didn't want to keep you guys all night. Um, do you all have any questions or anything before we end this live? Yeah, you cannot have a normal conversation these days. You cannot. And it is it is really disappointing. And that is why I am a sapiosexual because I like I like the intellectual man. I'm turned on by intellect. I'm not turned on by somebody asking me if I'm a bitch in bed. That that's that don't turn me on. Oh, uh, hey, Tamika girl. Hey, girl. She say I'm just making it. Yes, girls, I am definitely a, um, I like smart men. You know, you got to have something. A man has to lead you with more than just his poke link. If all a man, listen, if that's all a man has to offer, it's only one place he can lead you to, which is the bedroom. And that shit get real old because when it's time to pay rent, you cannot pay rent with that. He is literally just it, it, those types of guys that that always want to redirect the conversation towards sex. They don't have anything else to offer. That is the only thing they have to offer. And you can't pay the mortgage with that. You can't do anything with that. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Unless he on OnlyFans and I, you know, come on now, that's not going to benefit me. And then also, guys, when you when you meet a dude like that and he's always trying to redirect the conversation to sexual things. Even if you know you never gonna talk to him again, guys, make sure, make sure when he hit the ball over the net, you not just sitting there. Make sure you hit that bitch back. And by hitting the ball back over the net, that's you redirecting the conversation back into something more intellectual. So when he hit the ball over the net, talking about his poke link, you hit the ball back over the net and you talk about politics. 
You know what I'm saying? Don't just let him sit there and have this conversation with you. Or if you want to make it really uncomfortable, let it be one-sided. And then just tell him, um, I'm not feeling well all of a sudden. And you exit the premises. Because I'm not, you, I don't. I don't have access to the uh, penile equipment. So it's not a whole lot of conversations that I want to have about that. It's not beneficial to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's a tool. Uh-uh, baby. What you doing? Paying bills? Uh, Looking in my cash app to see my balance? Checking my wells for any anytime somebody say what you doing, you it needs to be something concerning some finances. Looking at my paycheck stub, trying to figure out why my check was short. <laughs> Looking at my car note, girl. I mean, and then too, like at this age, you should have so much more to talk about. You know, it's so much more to talk about. Yeah, hey, big head. <laughs> Ask him to name a diff different branches of the government if they bring up sex. Yeah. Immediately, I have cramps and I need to go lay down. Goodbye. Okay. I don't know, but I just think, I just think that to me, a woman, and I told my male friend this before, um, he was dating this chick and he, and he, would, he was just saying, um, you know, like talking about sex, like she, like she never says anything about sex. And I was like, well, you need to let her bring it up. You shouldn't be bringing up sex. And unfortunately he didn't listen to me. He brought it up and sis was gone. Okay. I was like, oh, she must've been a bombshell. Yeah. Are either what about the guys who they don't even some guys are so lazy they don't even text anymore when they respond their response is an emoji and I can't communicate like that if you can't if you cannot use your words then no somebody's time a CEO of block ministry okay can we call the block button to the front of the congregation I'm just saying yeah, it does. Yeah, talking about credit and financial goals, that definitely, that's a conversation that will definitely make uh, a lot of the guys uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it's the emoji conversations for me. I'm just like, no, we, we, why? Well, I'm not going to, it's just so many things that I'm not going to entertain. But guys, that's why I don't think if, if, if any of the bombshells are out there dating, I don't think it's anything wrong with that. Just, but as for me in my house, like I told you, we doing this, we're looking full speed ahead and we doing this. I am tired. I don't have the energy to date. I got to, you know, I got to focus on my brand and focus on the things that are important to me. And then maybe maybe uh i'll jump back out there and start dating eventually but that is literally i would say it's at the bottom of the list but guys that's not even on the list at all it says love y'all you guys make me laugh <laughs> blockiana yep mommyana and blockiana you hear me <laughs> yeah we definitely need full sentences yeah we definitely do like girl but whatever Anyway, I'm tired of time with these men, honey. I didn't already told y'all uh, about the Osh Waganda. I didn't already told y'all about that. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, if y'all go down to the thing and start messing with Osh Waganda, the men going to be on your mind just a little bit more than usual. Yeah, definitely use your words. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, girls. So did any of you? Oh, 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 not the iPad. Hold on, girl. Not the iPad part now. Did any of you girls go and have um have a Valentine's Day dinner? Did any of our girls get out and go do a solo date tonight? Girl, I should have bought, I'm gonna have to get up super freaking early in the morning and go buy a charger for my iPad. The charger is 
tripping, girl. Y'all, where can I go get a charger at from tonight? No, I'm not leaving my house tonight. But yeah, that's going to be something that I'm going to have to do in the morning. But anyway, guys, it looks like the chat is slowing down a little bit. Um, every time I say that, then y'all start coming with the, yeah. <laughs> Girl, not the janky, not the janky. Oh, okay, I'm trying to sit. Hold on, girl. I got too many things going on at one time. Oh, someone did a solo lunch. I love that. That was a really good idea. I sure well, girl, the disclaimer in the blog had me dying. See, I tried to tell you, treated myself to strawberries in the movie. Oh, that was sweet. Somebody's talking about I pay bills, girl. Me too. Me too. Pay bills today. Pay bills and worked. So this was definitely a work day for your girl. Guys, y'all need to get um my daughter bought me. Oh, that was so sweet. Oh, my daughter's friend. My friend's daughter bought me Chinese food. Oh, that was so the wig sold. No, the wigs have they haven't sold yet. Um I sold one. I sold one wig. Yes. I'm happy. I'm excited. It was my first sale. Um Oh, y'all girls, y'all need to get some poppy that, that, uh, pre, uh, probiotic, I think probiotic soda. Y'all, I drank some of that last night. And when I woke up this morning, I felt amazing. Um, I bought mine from Ross and it really is good. It's not too sweet, but it just gives you that little carbonated taste that you might need. But, um, thank you. Thank you so much, girl. But yeah. So y'all need to get some of that, guys. I swear, when I woke up this morning, I noticed a complete difference just in my skin and in my face. I felt like I looked about five years younger when I woke up. Um, I need to drop the link again in the uh because I need to drop the link again in the um Hold on, let me see. Let me go and get the link again and I'm gonna drop it in the chat. Hold on guys, I'm doing that now. Hold on. All right. Yeah, poppy is good. It's uh it's really it's really healthy for you, you know. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Undo. <laughs> um sorry guys. So there we go. So I'm going to pin the wig website. Hold on. Baby, it's me and all of these technical difficulties in which I am having. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to pin the website but every time i try to pin it it's trying to make me go to the website so guys i just dropped the link it's not for whatever reason allowing me to pin it let me unpin this comment hold on maybe if i do it like that it's not letting me pin the website guys but i just dropped it uh you guys should see it but that's the website um, it says, Rochelle, did you lay this unit? Yes, I did. This is a glueless unit, guys. See, it's glueless. And so that's it. This is from Icy Hair. So it's no glue. I just, all I did was just added my, um, added like my conditioner and mousse concoction and that's it. It's, it's so you don't have to put any glue or anything on these units. Um, I actually have an icy unit that I'm going to be selling. I have to do a wig review on it. Do you guys want to see that unit? Because I'm going to be selling that as well. Thank you, Penny. So um, I'm going to be selling it as well, but it's a different texture, but it's the same lace. It is gorgeous. It is a gorgeous unit. So let me go grab it. Hold on. It's in the hallway.
So y'all, this is the unit. Hold on, let me come in. So this is the unit and this is from Icy Hair. Um, and then I'm gonna pull it out of the bag. Oh, thank you. So guys, um, as soon as I do the review on this wig, I am going to wash it and I am immediately gonna put it on the website. So this hair, it is a lot, if you guys, oh shoot, if you guys know who Kenya Moore is, this hair is a lot like Kenya Moore's hair. The texture and everything, this hair is gorgeous. It's just that um, I'm not going to really be able to enjoy this hair because of the type of weather that we have in Houston. And I can tell that this hair is going to, uh, is going to respond to humidity. Um and it's probably going to be a little bit more maintenance than I want to deal with. But this is the ICM cap unit. And so it's literally the same cap and it's the same construction that I have on now. But the texture is more of like a like a natural African-American texture hair, guys. It is gorgeous. So I'm probably going to be doing the wig review on this tomorrow. And as soon as, as, soon as I finish the review, I'm going to put this on the uh, wig website. Uh, most wigs, uh, okay, I mean, I can go fix it, but I think they probably, um, it says, are the wigs big head friendly? Yes, yes, they are. Uh, I don't I don't know how much this one is going to be because I'm only going to wear this wig just for the promotion. And it's like I said, I'm going to take it because I don't even y'all. I don't even know how much this wig costs on the website, but um, I don't know. Like if this is like four hundred something dollars on the website, then I'll probably sell it for like two hundred fifty dollars or something like that. So I don't know yet. Um Oh, and yeah, it needs to be washed because, baby, this is this wig is fresh. It is fresh off the showroom flow, girl. So we're going to wash it and condition it and get it all gorgeous and glamorous. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Now, guys, it's not going to come in all of this fancy packaging and stuff because the shipping is going to be way too expensive if it's you know, shipped all like this or whatever, but it's going to be shipped really, really nicely. All right. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, how much? Okay. Hey, uh, it says, Hey, hey, bombshell. Can't wait. I want it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's really pretty y'all this. Oh, and it's another thing, girl. Y'all, the lace is already, it's like a brown lace. So you don't even, you don't need a stocking cap. But I would just say, you, you still want to wear a stocking cap. You still want to protect your hair as much as you as you possibly can. Let me go to the website and see. Let me go to the website because Brittany just noticed um, that the, it was the word wig and not wigs. Uh, let me go to the website and take a look real quick. Um, let me see. I might have to see if I can fix that. Hold on. Okay, so let me see if it'll let me do an edit really quickly. Okay, here we go. So let me fix that real quick. Hold on. Message to customers. All see, I don't understand this. Okay, hold on. I would like to thank everyone. Okay, I found it. Okay, so it's fixed. I fixed it. Hold on. Let me go here and put a space. Okay, so done. And save. Okay, Brittany, I don't know if you have a minute to go back and look, but just 
because what I'm doing, I'm editing it. I'm editing it as a web, as the site owner, if that makes any sense. And so um, I just want to see what the website looks like from a consumer aspect. Uh, let me see if it'll let me go in and do that. Let me see if it'll let me look at it the way. See, it's it, it see it's not letting me fix it. Hold on, let me do it again. I'm sorry, girls. I'm just trying to work out the kinks real quick. Okay, let's do this. But anyway, so yeah, let me go back to the chat. So I'll fix it later because I don't want to keep messing with it and we got the chat going. That's a beautiful unit. Thank you. It yeah, it it is. It it really is pretty. I'm not gonna lie, but I can just tell like y'all, this gonna be a it's gonna be a lot of maintenance on this unit in the summertime in Houston, you know. But it does have that natural, I don't know if y'all can see that natural little wave it has. It's gorgeous. It really is a beautiful unit. It really is. Hold on. Yeah. So before we go, because it's y'all, it's 10 o'clock. We got to go. Before we go, do you guys have any more questions? I ain't gonna lie, girl. This is gonna bother me. This one, y'all, I'm sorry, but this one, this thing not having an S on it is gonna drive me crazy. It is. I, I'm sorry, girls. Let me, I gotta fix this because if I don't fix it, it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, let's see. I said edit. I know y'all over there like, you see, this, this is what I talk about, about me being a perfectionist. All weeks have been watched. Okay. Oh, it did. It did. Okay. So I have to hit publish. Most wigs were worn, were only worn for promotional purposes. Yeah. So it did. Let me publish it. Okay. So it's fixed. It's fixed. Sorry, guys. Y'all just saw me going to my bombshell perfectionist mind state of mind sorry about that <laughs> okay all right so all right guys so yeah we are about to get out of here wrap things up um i am going to make sure that i link the website on this live and then i'll probably um link it on the community tab as well thank you girl yeah because i was over here I, I was like uh uh, i gotta fix this right right now but anyway guys so um i'm gonna try to tweak the website just a little bit more before i actually um drop the link on the community tab and then what i'll also be doing in each vlog after this, I'll be dropping the link as well until the wigs sell out. So right now, I want to say it's like 13 units on the on the wig on the website right now. So anyway, girls, thank you guys for show coming to my TED talk. Um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. And maybe if I'm not able to get a vlog out to you guys, maybe we can go live again on Friday if that's something you guys will be interested in. Because I don't know if I'm going to have a blog ready for you guys. So, but thank you, girls. I, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank y'all so much and have a good night.